reviewing the HQST high quality solar panel and it is the suitcase portable uh, 100 watt and upon arrival it's had inspect immediately I've already unboxed it and looked it over for damage it looks okay so the reason I bought this solar panel the sole reason is to charge that beast the Max Oak Blue Eddy 2400 watt solar charger um, we'll see if it works meet you back after I get it all set up Okay, got it out of its uh, packaging, have it set up, more or less directed to the sun, and a uh, quick observation on quality, uh, nice aluminum legs, adjustable, uh, solar charger controller, um, it's all ready wired, uh, the uh, cable, uh, is all ready to connect uh, that with the included battery cable. Um, in my case, the uh, Blue Eddy has a built-in uh, charge controller. So in my application, I'm really going to bypass uh, the charge controller that's mounted to the solar panel. Uh, what I've done is I rigged up a, a little cable assortment. Uh, it's just a 12 volt socket, uh, which I'll wire directly to the, the panels themselves at this port here. And then we'll see if it'll charge the, the Blue Eddy. I'll be back in a minute. All right, I got the 12 volt socket wired into the charge controller right at the solar panel uh, terminal. Now I'll just plug the, the barrel end, other end of the uh, cable into the blue eddy and see what happens. getting 18 watts so it is charging I'm just gonna let it go and see if it charges fully and uh, so far I'm happy with that because here's the day we're looking at not very bright at the moment so if I could get 20 watts of power into this battery pack uh, I'm good to go. Uh, we have a an RV and the only uh, source of power will be the Blue Eddy and uh, I need a way of keeping that charged when we're not motoring down the highway. So we'll be back 
and see if this fully charged. Okay, just wanted to come back real quick and I wasn't quick enough, but the sun came out for a bit and we got up to uh, 90 watts. So I'll try to be quicker next time. Okay, here we are. Sun's popped out. And going back in, I don't know if you saw, it was 95 watts. There's 88, 89 watts. So we're out of this 100 watt solar panel, on a day like today in the Pacific Northwest, we're uh, pumping in, uh, I'd say on average about 60 watts. And uh, if it charges fully, I'm a happy camper. All right, be back in a little bit. All right, quickly, uh, only have 16 gauge wire hooked up to this cigarette lighter uh, socket uh, to which the charging cable is inserted and it's definitely worn to the touch so I'm going to have to increase the, the gauge of the wire but other than that 106 watts doing great be back later Okay, it's a little later the same day. The sun is bright. As you can see, it's generating 106 watts. And it's on its way to fully charging. So I'll catch you a little later. Okay, can you see that? 120 watts, that doesn't seem right. 118, 117 watts. I don't know, 100 watts. How's that possible? Give me ideas. Thanks. Okay, I'm back again. 130 watts, I saw. There's 97, 99. 86. 78. Okay, that's more reasonable, but 130. Someone has to explain to me how I could get 130 watts now we're going 98, 96 104, 106, 109 5, 100, 10, 100, 6, 20, 120 what? 120 what's going on? somebody's got to explain this to me Thanks. All right, it's only a few minutes later, um, heavy cloud cover, and we have stopped charging. So I think I'm going to come back tomorrow, it's supposed to be sunny again, and see if we could top off this uh, Blue Eddy. I'm a little worried that uh, the voltage might not be high enough uh, to finish charging this to its maximum but we'll see tomorrow see you then we're back on another day sun's out a little more pronouncedly um, we'll see if this finish tops up the uh, Blue Eddy 2400 and right now It's pushing in about 71 watts. We'll keep an eye on that and see if it goes a little higher. Last time it was up to 130. And I suspect, uh, since the solar panels only rate, rate it for a max 100 watts, I suspect when it gets uh, close to 100, the fan goes on. Uh, in the Blue Eddy, so I'm not sure if that causes um, a different reading or if the solar panel just puts out 
as much as 130 watts. I hope someone has better information about this than I do and could. Okay, now as the sun's getting brighter, you see we're up to 96 watts, 95. Usually the, the fan comes on about this charge level, so we'll see what happens. All right, I'll be back. This is the extent of our sunny day today. Occasionally the, the sun brightens up, but on a day like today, we're getting a baseline of about 30 watts from the solar panel and as high as 110 watts. Okay. As you see, we're at 110, 109 watts going into the Blue Eddy, but also the fan is on. So I don't know if that explains why uh, we're pushing in more than 100 watt, which is the max the solar panel is rated or if the solar panel just puts out more than, than its rated capacity. Um, anyway, uh, it looks like it's going to top up the, uh, the Blue Eddy, fully charge it, and that'll meet our needs uh, as we go off-grid in our RV. Alright, I'll be back after it's fully charged. Alright. The HQST solar panel, 100 watt max output, fully charged the Blue Eddy EB240, which is a 240 watt hour uh, battery pack, and uh, all's good. So I'll give you a, a quick recap as I fold it up and put it away and that'll be it all right back to the charge controller as I noted earlier uh, the Blue Eddy has its own charge controller built in so I had to bypass uh, it, the function of the panels charge controller and wire directly to the solar panel and to uh, and I've accomplished that with a simple cigarette lighter socket wired right to the solar panel um, terminals. And that supplies about 17 volts and at various power levels depending on sun. And as you saw, it went from uh, about 15 when it's fairly overcast to as high as 130 which I'm not sure I understand how that's possible but it it, it indicated 130 watt input on the Blue Eddy so uh, someone has to explain that to me um, this charge controller just tucks up there nice there's a little velcro that holds it up uh, I've got to disconnect the wires and then I'll fold it up and pack it away. Alright, I disconnected the uh, cigarette socket from the solar panel uh, terminal. And I should note that in the instructions it says that the battery lead uh, which is the middle terminal must be connected before the solar panel is connected to the charge controller so um, since I never disconnected the uh, battery lead uh, cable um, there was no problem in um, tapping into the solar panel terminal and as I noted the only thing the, uh, I bought a cigarette lighter socket, 12 volt socket, and then the Blue Eddy came with its own 
cigarette charger cable and the only thing I had to rig up was the, the socket to accept that. Alright, I'll tuck the charge controller back away and fold her up and show you, come back to you then. There you have it, the HQST 100 watt suitcase solar panel.